Hello everybody, good morning. Still on the New Harbour Pier. You know, very few, relatively very few people come here. I mean, here we are at this time of the morning. Look how many people are on this pier. It's a wonderful time just to place to come and sit at and enjoy the fresh air. Uh, speaking about fresh air, uh, many, many years ago, there was a, a much loved Pope called Pope John the 23rd. And uh, he was once asked, what is the greatest need of the church? And upon being asked that, he got up from his seat, he walked across the room and he pushed open the shutters and the windows and looking out and looking back at the interviewer, he said, fresh air. Now think of that. Isn't there something in that reply worth reflecting on? Fresh air, the great need of the church. Yeah, there are times when things become a little bit stuffy and the air, uh, the atmosphere of our churches can so easily become stale. Well, if there is one picture of the Holy Spirit that I love, it is the picture of wind, of air, of ruach, the breath of God. You remember Adam lying lifeless in that Garden of Eden? Uh, God had created him, but he was a simple corpse. And then we are told God breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and Adam began to live. He felt the fresh, powerful wind of God's Spirit, the breath of God, fresh air. I'm sure you've been uh, into Cape Town on, uh, on a wonderful, beautiful winter's morning. And as you come up Steenbras from the Chrebo side, you, you go over the top and you look over the peninsula, and whereas often it is absolutely beautiful, crystal clear in the, in the lookout, the whole peninsula instead is covered with a brown smog. And you look out at it and you say, oh, that is awful. And before you know it, you drive down into the peninsula and, and there you are breathing in that, that smog. You don't even realize it. Well, I think sometimes we get used to things which are less than the pristine air uh, that God intended us to breathe in. Of course, when you come back over Solari's Pass, you come down there into Chrebo, and you come down closer and closer to Hermanus till eventually you breathe the champagne air of Hermanus. Beautiful, beautiful. And this is a very good place to come and breathe the Hermanus champagne air. And so it is, I think, with the Spirit of God as he begins to breathe new life in us. I like to speak about the champagne air of God's Spirit. When we know God, not just as some concept as if like, yeah, of course I believe in God, but we believe not just in God, but in, as the Bible says, the living God. Somebody who is real, somebody who is important, somebody who is the, the, the foundation of our lives. The wind of God's Spirit, the fresh air of God's breath, the champagne air of the Holy Spirit. I can't think there's anybody who would not want to breathe that air. And it is God who comes to us as we approach Pentecost and He says, let me blow the cobwebs away. Let me blow all that smog that for too long has weighed us down and perhaps has polluted our hearts. And let me replace it with the loving, fresh and mighty wind of my spirit. It's for you. God be with you.